Well, the force has certainly been with me this week. I've had a wonderful time so far in and around Lausanne. I've cooked with one of the finest chefs in the world. I've spent time with one of the greatest manufacturers of wristwatches in the world. And today I'm spending time at the finest maker of music boxes. Now you'd think that music boxes are for your grandparents. Well, think again. I would love to have this spaceship in my living room. Kurt Kuppa is the CEO of Rouge. This wonderful box. Most people, when they think of music boxes, they think of their mother, grandmother, sister, who has one of those little jewellery boxes. Ballerina pops out, tinkle, 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 it goes. But you've taken it to a completely different level, I can see that. First of all, how long have they been making music boxes around the world? Well, they're making them since about 1865 which is the same year our company started. So it's almost 150 years old. What is the timeline of Rouge? Well, we started, as I said, in 1865, and we produced all the time. So contrary to many other companies, we produced First World War, Second World War, nonstop, all the time. In the meantime, some other companies, they closed down, we bought them out, and today we're really the only ones doing this kind of music boxes. Now, it would be fair to say that, as I said, most people think of these little music boxes that maybe cost, you know, $10, right. you know, whatever, yeah. but the ones that you make uh, take it to a very, very different it's level. Slightly different. We are working rather in a personalised area, customised, because a music box is by definition a gift today, and the gift more and more for the wealthier people, in the sense that we're doing customised pieces, one of a kind, for head of states, for companies and for individuals. So, kind of like up to what price bracket can you get a music box here? Well, I would say a normal price bracket goes anywhere from 3,000 US dollars to about 150,000, but there's no limit really to the upper limit, depending on what you want to add. We're going to go through the manufacturing process a bit later. I mean, we've got a couple of pieces here. The first one I can see, because you know what I like, it's a humidor with a music box. Now, for my collection of cigars, for instance, I would be very worried about putting a mechanism in there because you wouldn't want to spoil the quality of the cigars. How do you work with a company that would have a humidor? Well, the concept is really easy. We need to have both wonderful worlds together. In order to do that, your cigars, they need a certain humidity. Otherwise, it's not going to be good. We don't need humidity as a music box because it wouldn't react well. So we put the music box in a separate waterproof element, which doesn't affect at all the cigars, and the cigars don't affect the music box. Are there any parallels between a manufacturer of a fine wristwatch and the manufacture of the music box. Many of them, actually, the area where we find ourselves here in Switzerland is an area where there are many watch companies also, very fine watch companies, because the study and the learning process and the quality requirements are almost identical. It's just the watch only shows time. We show emotions and music. Using the same analogy, what is the difference between your little jewellery box with the ballerina and something like, for instance, I can imagine there's something incredible in here. Well, it is a little difference in the sense that the ballerina makes dreams. This one here, if you open it, you see you have a much <gasps> larger type of variety. First of all, you have a cylinder which plays four different melodies. You have the bells, you have a drum, and then also on the bottom here, you do have drawers with additional cylinders. Each cylinder plays four different melodies, so in here you have 32 melodies you can select. OK, right, I want to see the, the, the manufacturing process. OK, um, let's go and walk to the factory. Well, after you, Thank please. you. So, here I bring you to see the different steps how to produce a music box. So let's imagine you have an idea about nautical. So what we do then, we come up with some design, which you might prefer. We do it in different kind of wood in order to have the colors. And we go also so far to indicate, for example, the special number you have, we use the maritime language here with the flags. So those boxes are produced. Once we have the boxes produced inside, outside, becomes a one-of-a-kind piece of you. Okay, so we've got the box. What is the next step? Next thing is, what kind of melody you like? 
So if you like your melody, any melody, let's say this one, or any melody you compose yourself, yeah. you just let us have the notes, or you let us have a link to YouTube, a DVD, something, and then our musician will rearrange it, because your melody will be three, five minutes. We have maybe 20 to 30 seconds. So we can't just cut it, we need to completely rearrange it, in order to make sense. So you can have any piece of music, like a theme from Paganini or anything like that, anything and then you, like. you can just say to you, this is what I'd oh. want. That's about, luxury is about what you want. Yeah. It's not what people impose to you. Yeah. You want it, you get it. Okay. Now I can see the, the mechanism behind you now, as now well. Now you have a mechanism, this is a element we see afterwards. You have the comp, where you actually have 72 different notes, each of them individually fine-tuned. So now if you have the cylinder here also with the sticks, on a large cylinder you have up to 5,000 sticks in order to play the melodies. So it's a very detailed thing. One stick off, we do again. Now if you think this piece is special, I want to show you a very special piece, which will be much more than what you saw so far. Oh, I'm excited already. Let's okay, go. let's go. Well, you weren't joking. This is a simply amazing piece. Tell me a bit about it. Well, it's a piece we put together with Lancôme, which they want to do a special presentation. We have here on top a chandelier from Baccarat. You have two glasses actually on a plate on Swarovski crystal. And underneath you have a 144 music box. It's absolutely beautiful. I have to ask you now, if I had the money to buy something like this, I can imagine this is probably 50, 60, 70,000 euros. Why would I not buy an amazing stereo system where I could play thousands of tunes rather than a box like this that plays just maybe one up to four? Well, I think it goes all about the definition channel of luxury. Do you want something anybody with money can have or do you want something which is conceived for you? You don't have to adapt something, you create something. It's the whole difference. Kurt, I've just had a magnificent morning here. Thank you so much for the rest of the day, maybe the rest of the week, I'm going to have your music in my head. Thank you so much.